Warning this video contains information that may be used for an illegitimate purpose. Understand this video was created for educational purposes and the information disclosed was intended for personal use only. JD Nitro and the makers of the free make video converter will not be held responsible for any individual who uses the information in this video for an unlawful purpose. What's up internet, it's JD Nitro. I'm back to do another product review, only this time it's a piece of software. Now before you click away from this video, the title is accurate. How to rip a DVD 100% real. This is not some kind of trolling video where I'm going to sit a DVD on an iPad and say that's how you put a DVD on an iPad. No that is stupid and you would be a moron if you produce a video like that. What I am going to be showing you is a free program that will let you rip a DVD to a digital format that you can then put on whatever device you want to put it on and I'm going to be demonstrating with my copy of Ultimate Avengers the movie which is an animated film that Marvel put out a few years ago and before any of you people start commenting, oh, JD, you're some sort of movie pirate, you support the theft of other people's intellectual property, shut up, you ignorant person who has no business being on the internet at all. If all you want to do is rip a movie that you own to put it on, on your iOS device, Android device, or any other device that you own, that's not illegal, you're not going to get into any trouble for it. Now, unlawful distribution, that's a completely different story. If you want to rip a movie so you can distribute it through whatever file sharing network you prefer, that's a problem, you can get into trouble for that because you don't have the permission of the movie studio or whoever produced the film. As long as you're ripping it for personal use, you're not going to get into any trouble for it. There's absolutely no difference between ripping a DVD and ripping a CD. And if you sit up here and say you never once ripped a CD from your personal collection to digital format, you're either lying or you have never owned a CD in your entire life. Okay, so first thing we need to do is download and install a program called Freemake Video Converter. So go ahead and open up your favorite web browser. Go to Google and look for freemake.com. And it should be the first search result on the page. Go ahead and click on that. And this is the official website for the program. Only download this from the official site. Nowhere else. Trust me on this. This is the one you want right here, Freemake Video Converter version 3.1.2. Click that and then click download. Now I've already downloaded it so there's no reason to do it again. Close out of your web browser and here is the exe and you may be prompted for administrative permission when you run this so go ahead and run it and you will be prompted to select language so for me obviously English and here's the setup wizard you can read the uh, license agreement or just click next let it do its thing it's gonna go away and it's gonna come back up with uh, some special offers now you, I don't need the AVG security toolbar if you want this go ahead and agree to it uh, I don't need it so I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to leave these boxes unchecked since I don't need it and click next another special offer don't want it just uncheck it and here I'm going to do a custom installation and I'm gonna uncheck the Firefox plugin and the Chrome plugin and I'll leave the desktop icon click next give it destination and now let it do its thing it'll take a couple of minutes to install when you're done the program opens up and this is the Freemake video converter a real simple interface with a ton of different formats. You got AVI, Windows, Apple, MP3, MP4, Flash, Sony, Xbox, Samsung, Android. It even does HTML5. 
Don't know when I would ever need to use that, but it's there, so that's awesome. You can add video, add uh, audio, add DVD, add a picture, or paste a URL. That's right, you can download YouTube videos with this. It works very well. So to rip a DVD, put the DVD in your disk drive and then click Add DVD and you'll need to find your disk drive. And this DVD has two files in it, some only have one, but it doesn't matter. You want the file that says video underscore TS. It's always this file. So click that and then click OK. Now it says opening, and this process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. It depends how much data is on the disk. You got the movie, commercials, FBI warnings, all of that. So just go make a sandwich and then come back whenever it's done opening. Once it finishes opening, you get this box here that says DVD, and it has all these titles in it. Well, Title 1, which is also the longest running title, is automatically checked. This is the movie. All these other titles are commercials, other movie trailers, FBI warning, things like that. Uh, you don't have to convert all that. If you want to, you can, but the movie is automatically checked. So click OK and so it'll, it'll load it up here so see ultimate underscore avengers title one this is the movie and now you need to select your format you can use any format that you want for me i use the wmv format and you get this box that'll pop up here and you have all these different presets that you can choose from uh... same as source HD 1080p, uh, HD 720p, DVD quality, a lot of options, play around with it, see what you like to use. Um, and then once you select, you can click this gear here. And now these are the different uh, parameters that you can adjust. Uh, the frame rate, the audio, everything is adjustable. That's one of the things I really like about this program. So once you've selected that, right here where it says one pass encoding high speed, you want to change that to two pass encoding low speed. Uh, if all you're doing is converting it for a, a portable device, then one pass is good enough. But if you're going to be watching this on a large screen, then two pass encoding just looks better. It also sounds better if you're playing it through your uh, home theater system. So that's what I recommend using. Once you have everything set the way you want it, click convert and the process will begin. Now this takes time. It can take anywhere from one hour to well over two and a half hours, depending on the runtime of the movie and the format settings that you've chosen. And it doesn't matter if you have a run-of-the-mill Walmart PC or a custom high-end system. This just takes time. Once it's finished, you'll get this message saying that it was completed successfully. Click OK, and then click Show in Folder, and it will pop up uh, the destination where it sent the movie. There it is right there. I'm going to close out of the converter here. And here is your newly ripped movie. Okay, so switching our recording methods here. Just wanted to show you guys that there is no video trickery going on here. Here's the disk tray of my computer. There's the DVD we just ripped. It is no longer in my disk drive. And here is the movie playing on my computer. There you go. Well, that's how you can rip DVDs using Freemake. And I myself have been using this program for several months, and there's only one drawback. It can't rip a protected Blu-ray disc. So any Blu-ray movies that you bought, it can't do those. It'll do an unprotected disc. So if you burnt some home movies to Blu-ray, well, it'll rip that. But if you bought a Blu-ray movie, it won't do that. 
On the plus side, though, it's a rock-solid video converter, a fantastic DVD ripper, a YouTube downloader, and all the formats you could possibly want. Even some you will never use, but they're there should you want them. And that is why I give Freemake a perfect 10 out of 10. Download this program, donate a few bucks to the site because well-made program and it works. And that's going to do it for this review slash tutorial. I'm JD Nitro. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the official order for doing things. You'll see me next time. I'm out.